Good evening from a brisk and crisp West London, live from the stoop. Harlequins continue their mid-season break Celtic challenge. It was London Scottish only days ago, but today a far sterner test arise from across the Irish Sea. Munster are in town and we have a packed out stoop for the occasion. Well, everyone's getting settled, everyone's getting excited. But first, we're going to deliver a couple of messages from our sponsors. Would you say, would you categorise yourself as a, a spender or a saver? It depends if my d mum and dad are listening. I, okay, yeah. mum and dad are listening, I'm definitely a saver. <laughs>
The big summer kickoff. Get me there. One of the biggest events of the season. Looking to follow in the footsteps of a packed out big game 15. What a romp that was in the festive period. Now, tonight, well, it may be the unofficial DHL derby being a sponsor of both these sides. And a man who's had a foot in both these camps through his illustrious career is Jerry Flannery, the defence coach of Quinns. Moving on to the spring box but with a chance to catch up with our Quinn's Reward competition winner, young Harry, who got an exclusive with him earlier this evening. Joey, it's your, it's your last game at Quinn's today. How does it feel, especially you're up against your old club? Yeah, my last, my last game for Quinn's, I'm a bit, I'm a bit sad, um, Henry, I'm a bit sad, but, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed my time here and, and hopefully we can sign off with a good win against Munster. Yeah, hopefully. How have you dealt with the mid-season break and what have you been working on? Um, the mid-season break, uh, well, the start of it I tried to just relax a little bit because we were pretty tired after all the games that we'd played. But um, I've, we, we've, we've come back and we've been training, preparing for this game against Munster and uh, it's been good to get everyone back on the field because some people were on holidays, some people were injured and now we've everyone back so hopefully we could have been a, a good show tonight. The Leicester game was very tight, wasn't it? Yeah, Leicester, Leicester was a tight one and uh, I was actually just talking about it with Adam Jones in the car on the way up today. Uh, very disappointing to lose that game, so we, uh, we owe our supporters here at the Stoop. We owe them a good win. Yeah. Had we won away at Gloucester and Northampton, both tight losses, we'd be top right now. How do you think the season has gone so far? Is it what you expected? Um... Yeah, it's it, it's really tight so far this season. Um, I think you know most teams could say if they had won one or two more games, they'd be you know much further up because the league is so close. There's yeah. so little between teams, um, and we knew that at the start of the season that the, you know everyone was going to be competitive. So, but we're, we're we're second in the league at the moment, and we've got a home draw in Europe. So, there's an awful lot to be proud of. Um, but we won't fall in love with ourselves because uh, there's still a long, still a long season to go. You're up against um, Quinn's up against Glasgow in the round of 16. Do you think we'll beat that? Um, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, our one of our coaches, Danny Wilson, used to coach Glasgow. So I think he's going to be particularly mental for that week when we're playing them. Um, so I think that there's a good chance that, 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 that the players will be really up for the game because it's going to mean an awful lot to Danny. If you could pick any player from history to play for Quinn, who would it be? <clears throat> any player from history um, to play for Harlequins? <sighs> I think Brian O'Driscoll would be a pretty good fit. Jonah Lomu for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a, he's a good shout. Yeah, Jonah Lomu. Did you, did you have you watched him at home? On YouTube. Oh yeah, he was an animal. That's a great shout. My dad coaches my under nine rugby team. Can you pop down one week to give him a hand, please? Yeah, yeah. If your dad will return the favour and come down and help me with South Africa, <laughs> that's a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. What a champion, those coming for your jersey or your mic, in my case, get younger every day. Right, let's hear from the coaches who are looking to mastermind victory this evening, starting with Mike Prendergast and finishing with Nick Evans. Mike, great to have you at the Stoop. Great to have Munster at the Stoop. I know you guys got over here earlier this morning. How's the preparation been? Good, yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, I suppose looking for a bit of momentum. We've, we've had uh, two wins there in the last couple of weeks against Crusaders, against Scarlets last week. So having this game hopefully will, will give us momentum. Um, obviously looking at the Harlequin side, they've, they've a good team put out. So it'll be a good challenge and we have a few young lads that are looking to step up and it's a great opportunity for them. So um, yeah, looking forward to, to, to this evening's match. Uh, you've touched on many topics I want, I want to cover, but let's talk about that momentum because it's big momentum. I mean, Scarlets, big performance last week, but Crusaders as well. You know, you guys have got to be brimming with it. Yeah, yeah. Look, there's it hasn't been perfect by any means. I think that kind of showed last week. There was we started the game well and we finished just kind of that that uh, mid third of the game. We probably weren't as happy work with. So uh, there's aspects of our game that we look to to improve tonight on, and I'm sure Harlequins will be the same. But um, it's um, it's a game that's I think in terms of 
Um, just momentum, as I spoke about. We play um, we play next week again in, in the URC. So uh, hopefully with a with a performance um, that will that will stand to us going forward. You mentioned the youngsters. There are some real exciting boys out there. I wonder what's the pressure that you guys put on them. What the pressure do they put on themselves for these games? even though they're technically friendlies in inverted commas, you know? Yeah, hopefully, look, we don't put too much pressure on them. They train with us, we train with our academy, all our academy and, and senior squad train together. We have 40 to 50 plus training, so uh, they're used to, to, I suppose, combinations effectively. And um, it's, look, it's it's a big night for, for some of these lads who are going to play their first game. Also, we've got some lads that have been out with injury, the likes of Joey Carby, Mike Haley, who have a game or two under the belt. So this is another opportunity for them to get more game time. But um, ultimately, look, it, it, it's about the team and it's about getting a good performance tonight and, uh, and see where that takes us. You mentioned the URC that's coming mm. up next. But you've got a real big one. You've got Saints away in the European Cup to look mm. at. I wonder, is this kind of the ideal preparation? You're coming over to England, playing an English side, and Quinns aren't too dissimilar in the way that they like to throw the ball yeah, around I, as well. I, I agree with you. I think there, there are two teams that like to hold on to the ball, like ourselves, and I, th I think that's what hopefully we'll set up tonight as, as a good game. But, um, yeah, look, we have Northampton. That's not for another, I think, month or so. Um, with three big URC games in between that, which we'll, we'll be focusing on. But um, look, as I said, this is just a, another game. It's another momentum game for, for us. And I'm sure it'll be the same for, for Harlequins, who've been going really well this year. Obviously, they're, they're second in their own league. So, um, yeah, it'll be uh, something, to, something good to look forward to this evening. We're looking forward to seeing you as well. Go well. Brilliant. Thank you. Nick, good to see you. Even better to see Quinns back at the suit. A sellout for a friendly. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, really, does it? In a mid-season break. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird part of the year, having um, Six Nations with no games. So um, the, the, the club do a really great job at, um, you know, one, engaging the fans and, and putting this fixture on. It's, it's a bit of a... It's almost a, a lopsided kind of three or four weeks for us having a game, and then then more like a bit of mini preseason leading up to leading up to Sari. So, uh, but it's it's great. I think it's, it's the boys are excited. Um, you've got Munster, who are uh, you know the, the pedigree that they have in Europe um, coming to the Quinn. So it's uh, it's good. I think we're excited, and we've had a couple of weeks off, and there's a few young faces that get an opportunity for um, in front of the coaches tonight, which is brilliant. A couple of weeks off, but you know, a few players in action against London Scottish the other day. What are you looking to take from that performance and looking to build upon tonight? Yeah, I think um, one is it's a it's a different team. So like, I think you saw a lot of youngsters against that uh, London Scottish who did a brilliant job in tough conditions away. Um, so tonight we're looking at just looking to see parts of our game um, after a couple of weeks off a lot of guys probably haven't played for a while so we're looking just to focus on parts of our game our kind of game model uh, look at our defense look at our attack look at the breakdown making sure that we we're doing our standards um, against a good quality opposition I know that you and the coaches you've been on you've been on a flight <laughs> yeah. all the way over to Japan for a bit of a sort of a coaching masterclass or a little bit of personal growth I'd love to hear a little bit more about that yeah it was brilliant there's an opportunity to um, we've got a great partnership with Honda Heat over in Japan which um, which is brilliant you know it, um, it's a kind of a, a two-way opportunity we've had a couple of players we had Shogo and Gunte come over and train with us during preseason and there's an opportunity for myself Danny and Gaz Tong to go over and um, experience a bit of Japan culture the environment and, and do a bit of coaching we got thrust in and did a bit of coaching Coaching, which is interesting coaching with a translator uh, which which took a while to get used to and makes you simplify things a lot more but it was brilliant it was a great opportunity and that, that's kind of that kind of CPD but you know the Quinn's kind of um, partnership with them it gives us opportunities to go and grow us as, as coaches so it was brilliant um, we managed to myself and Gaz went over and Daddy came a little bit later. He was in Abu Dhabi, came business class. But you know, big dogs like that—they uh, <laughs> they get the, the priorities. So me and Gabs were uh, were slumming in premium economy, so it wasn't too bad. <laughs> God, so so what are some of the learnings from that trip that you're going to try and apply to the group here? Oh, look, I think probably not too much applying to our group. I think it was more for us as coaches. I think um, you know, us to go over there and see how we can coach and simplify things allows us to come back to us and, and simplify things for the players. Because um, over there, I'm a key. I talk really fast, as you can probably tell, so I have to slow down a little bit when I'm over there. I have to wait for the translator to then translate what I'm talking about, and then sometimes you can, you're can waiting, you cross over, so it certainly helped with my delivery in terms of what I want to get out um, to the players. Um, but for us, it was just being able to implement things and, and get them to understand and then execute. You know, a group of Japanese players that don't speak any English at all, um, if they we can explain and get them to execute what we want then um, it helps us as coaches and hopefully then helps us here at Quinn's. All right then you mentioned the word execute 
What do you got to execute tonight against Munster? I mean, what a team to be facing, kind of as the prelim for a huge, huge block for this uh, for the club. Yeah, I think um, like if you go back to what Munster are, you know, incredibly um, physical team. Um, they compete really hard at the breakdown. They compete 48 percent of the rucks across the field. So our breakdown is going to be key tonight. So if you're watching, what watching what we do at the breakdown, making sure we're at 98% percent with top of the league uh, in the Premiership around ruck success, so we've got to make sure that we do that against a team that will look to try and jackal our ball a lot. If we can do that, we'll create quick ball from an attack point of view and hopefully it's greasy out here, so we'll probably look to probably put the ball in, in behind attacking wise a little bit early and, and see if we can turn them um, and then hopefully create some um, transition opportunities. From a very hard team to a very hard man and a Munsterman, Jerry Flannery, it's the swan song, he's heading off to the spring box. Tell me, what are you going to miss most about Jerry and what's his legacy going to be to Quinns of his time? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it is sad, but it's an opportunity for Jerry. Um, you know, I had an opportunity uh, last year to go to England. Um, the club were brilliant around that. And um, there's an opportunity for Jerry to move to the, the double world champion. So oh, we're going to miss Jerry. I think um, one thing about Jerry, he's extremely passionate. Um, he works incredibly hard. Um, he works in an area of the, of, the, of the game that's probably not synonymous with Quinns. He has to work, you know, it's, 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 it's a tough gig. Uh, defence at, at Quinns because sometimes it's all about attack, all about attack, but he's done incredibly well. Um, we have massively improved our defence this year and he's been a massive part of that. So I'm going to miss I'm going to miss his uh, intensity, I'm going to miss his, uh, <clears throat> his inability to handle his alcohol. Um, that's probably one thing I'm gonna, definitely going to miss. He's got a unique way of saying for our kickoff, like a restart send, which is just imprinted in my head now. I cannot stop saying restart send. Um, but just little things like that. His legacy will be he, um, he helped improve us and he was part of that brilliant title winning coaching group um, that won the won the premiership over the road that um, yeah will obviously go down in history. A man to be missed but tonight a game not to be missed we're looking forward to seeing the lads in action thanks so much Nick. Brilliant no problem. Through the mist of West London emerged the big red machine the Munstermen are in town and this is Two clubs full of history, but ones with relatively few chapters written between them. I can tell you that Munster lead the head-to-head, -head, seven wins to two. And they come here with a lot of youth, they come here with a lot of confidence. Big results against the fated Crusaders of New Zealand and the Scarlets in the URC last week. But a sterner test that awaits, because it's Harlequins at home at a packed out stoop. Well, Munster are here, I'm here, and Luke Northmore's here alongside me for an evening on the mic. Hello, mate. How are you? You all right? Very, very well. Here's the Harlequins team list for you. And Roma Zheng makes hit a start on the wing, a late replacement for Nick David, whilst Lennox Anyanwu and Bryn Bradley swap jerseys from the ones they wore against London Scottish. Will Edwards moves from fullback to fly half, and Stefan Levies makes a welcome return as captain alongside last time's captain against Leicester Tigers, Joe Lorchbury. And here he is, and here they are, Quinns out to rapturous applause, pyrotechnics, flames, smoke, the magic show is here. Well this is the task ahead of them, a young monster, but one with bags of experience laced through it as well, Mike Haley, Joey Carberry, coming back from injury, pivotal players and the youth of Shane McCarthy, fresh of a first URC try last week against the Scarlets. Kean Healy and Finneen Witchley, they've swapped jerseys just before kickoff, whilst Alex Kendellen is set to lead the side from seven. There's the bench, there's the firepower, Nathan Jabulu, two tries against London Scottish recently, and a proud day for the Klein and the Hicks families who'll be watching on from home because young Max and Dylan are set to make their senior monster bows. Hamish Schmelz is the man in the middle, a speedster in his day, quite an exponent at sevens. He'll have his work cut out though in his elder years, keeping up with some of the pace out there. Well, this is a friendly, apparently. 
but the soup is buzzing and Quinns are returning through James Chisholm. Luke, we got cut off there as you were coming in. What's been the talk around this game? Um, to be honest, I think it's just been a huge amount of chat from Jerry, to be honest. I don't think Jerry sees us as a friendly whatsoever. Um, it's been a great week, obviously, to send him off against his old club with his current club. So, um, yeah, everyone's hugely excited. There's a few good old boys back from a well-earned break and, uh, and a few young fellas excited for an opportunity. Well, there's a, an old bull in James Chisholm, nearing 150 appearances in the quarters of Quinns. Off it now! And showing no signs Have we got of a top off? Down. We've got a top off. Keep it off, Steph. An early top. I told you the big show was in town yeah. this evening. <laughs> Look to use it now, please. Balls available. And there's Let's Ethan Coughlin, 21-year-old from Ennis County Clare. Beautiful spot. Going high into the skies. And on to Lewis, uh, to Max Green, Lewis Chaltema on the bench. Oh, that well, didn't look nice, did it? Shoulder catching high as well. Evans went to floor, but he's made of titanium, that guy, isn't he? Head to toe, head to toe. Okay, titanium. let's go nine, please use it. Well, Max Green, who'll be sure. very aware of the Get scrum half opportunity ball. with Danny Kerr away from England, Will Porter currently still recovering from shoulder surgery. Good game for him at half back. It's a big counter ruck as well, pouring through oh, from one of the Witcherly brothers, Finneen. Not on the I think ball. That's going to be a staple from both that sides today. As he's hard through the break now. We've talked about it a lot this week. Penalty advantage. Oh, and an early penalty. A ball out. Got Stolen like a thief in the night. And Munster with a bit of possession, reasonably yeah. deep into the Quinn's half. Nice inside ball finding Scott Buckley. Carberry. I think that's, that's drifted good. forward. I shifted to, to Shane McCarthy, yeah, yeah. and well, it may have drifted Mike. forward, but the penalty no, advantage was being I'll played. But good opportunity carved out. Had that been a bit flatter? Yeah, I think both sides are going to look to play. Um, unfortunately, the weather this afternoon has probably made it a little bit greasy on the ball. Yes, but sir. both teams definitely got a lot of ambition. So. Uh, Well, the temperature has plummeted in the hour before kickoff. It's been brisk, but it's really, really dropped. And a few frosty Cut fingertips the yours, there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, don't envy Cut the, the grass, lads please. in this cold weather. Gents, let's go. Inflated benches this evening as well, Six I should goals. mention. Squad sizes of 25. And the first chance to look at the aerial set piece. Up goes Kian Hurley, who had enough valuable minutes for Gary Owen last week in the that AIL to merit a start this evening. A breakaway and a bust and a good low tackle coming in from Cassius Cleves, working hard okay. off his left edge. That's good D, that's good D from the boys. The ball's going to be a weapon for both sides, I think, tonight, isn't it? Two big packs. Well, Harlequins, bolstered by the return of the captain as well. Oh, what a joy that is, mate, to see him take the field again. He'll know how hard he's worked in rehab, you know, just nice every slow. week, every Maintain day. Balance, he must look from the outside that he has, you know, has a really tough run, and, and I, um, unfortunate, unfortunate enough to see him go through his graft every day throughout his rehab, and he worked so hard to get back fit, so I'm just chuffed to see him back on the field. Well, that coming from a man who sadly knows all too well what rehab clubs like we're going to touch on when your Perhaps return she... might come soon luke but first we've got to feast our eyes on the first scrum Five, of the eight. evening santiago garcia botia botter back into the fold he's been a bit shy of minutes this season and it's nice and stable and we're taking it this is good to see good intent take the short side quick ball Fast feet off the base from James Chisholm. Okay, well done. Creating Fine, that stop. room on the short side, and up goes Green again. A couple of shorter kicks Great. to begin the game. I wonder if Quinn's got a little Tackle! get the ball back. Wonder, you're yeah. meant to know the game plan, Luke. I'm a uh, unbiased commentator here. Oh, Will Edwards back in the ten jersey, oh. and that is a streaky one. And 
Well, Lennox Anyanri, great awareness of mind not to pick that up because he was in an offside position and Rima Zheng goes off in pursuit. Hold in front, Red! Good clearance from Munster. Yeah. Will Edwards wants to go quickly. I think that's a good return all in all from where we started. Not now. Uh, Joey Carberry, he's off Red. at the end of the season. No official word of where Five. he's off to. I think there have been some links to Bordeaux in France. Play. Edwards goes out the back and invites Bryn Bradley, the former Wales 20, to go powering onto the ball. As I said, he was at 13, Lennox Anyanwu at 13 last week. So interesting to see those two swap positions this week, Luke. Yeah, I think they're both two incredibly versatile players, aren't they? And it's nice to be able to mix and match when you play two big physical presences in the centre. And that's a really nice kick. Take him back in, yep. Well, it's an excellent kick, and were it not taken back in, it would have been a 50-22. McCarthy chances his arm. A lot of room there in the backfield. Yeah, I think a little bit of transitional play. We lost the ball in attack, probably a little bit eager to uh, to do something on the on the wide channel, and then it's just Red about tr probably trying to fill the front line. You know, that was an excellent kick. And a good oh. line-out to see us hopefully get us out of our half again. Pressurised throw, but no sweat for Jack Walker. Right to the tail, dead eye, and double top. Use it now. And Green, who last featured for Quinns here in that final game of the season against Tigers that Quinns agonisingly lost with okay. the last kick of the game, really. Hey, Argents. Six. Finds touch, but Munster still in command on a territorial level. Quinn's hold Scott there. Scott Buckley, but he made his debut, scoring a try and getting player of the match in the very famous Babes of Munster team. journey to Wasson in the Champions Cup, and he's just as accurate as Jack Walker. And Rory Scannell is just as destructive as Bryn Bradley. Good metres over the gain line. Nice slice of hand oh. and a very, very forward pass. Yeah. Isn't whistled. Yeah. And in goes Mike Haley for the first score of the evening. That's unfortunate, isn't it? When we're sat, that's a tough forward pass. But good intent to play, isn't it? Good, as we said from the beginning, both teams are going to come out and look to throw the ball around. I think we probably invited a little bit too much pressure in our half as Quinns. And then uh, a stroke of luck, Thanks. I'd say. We're only eight minutes in, so. Well, here's that ball from Carberry, which oh. has just been shown on the big screen, and I'll let the audio from the crowd yeah. do the talking. <laughs> I think we'd be a relatively impartial TMO if we, uh, if we took the reins. <laughs> Above my pay grade, Luke, but Mike Haley not hesitating with Absolutely. his opportunity and it is great to see Mike Haley back playing another Haley, who's just playing, been blighted the box, by injuries on cap for Ireland you would have thought he was 10. on a roll yeah. so he was destined for more not gone 10 yet. but yeah we'll manage him and we'll keep an eye on the guards and there's a, when Queen's a box kicking. <laughs> well there's a a sense of injustice in the stoop as the replay goes again and Haley coasts across. But Munster are leading. That's the bottom line. Oh, that's that that on the And the kick goes clean Scrum out. Taken. So Scrum taken. the men in red will have a return of the ball. Scrum taken. Here we go, here we go. Let's go, boys. Let's hold that five energy. Back screen, this midfield scrum. Poor kick. What's, yeah, what's the mentality around? It's, it's got to be attack every time. You're licking 100%. your lips, aren't you? One is, the beauty of a midfield scrum is that, and where it is in the field, you've got to cover as much space as you can, you, and you have to leave some. There's a, it's, you check. You, know, you can only see the scrum so far, but there is some space out here outside Brim Bradley. And you've got to look to exploit that. Set! Two, one, 
Uh, Will Collier and John Ryan are on opposite sides of the scrum here this evening. Between them, they've got about 450 appearances for these two clubs. They've seen it all. Oh. That ball from Carberry isn't seen cleanly because it's right around the bootstraps of Sean O'Brien. Yeah, that's a forwards nightmare, that one. Ball comes out to the backs and it's thrown to the deck. Couldn't think of anything worse than looking up and seeing well, it. Back depends where your strengths yeah. lie, doesn't yeah. it? I'm sure Santiago Garcia Botta is yeah. probably eagerly awaiting there, another Persian, Josh Witcherly. He's not shy either. I'll remember that the next time they shout at me for dropping one. Let's go, Danny! Let's go, Seconds! Josh Witchley, who's here, having made his debut against Quinns back in 2020 at Toman Park. Were you playing in that one, Luke? <laughs> I'm talking of injuries, I actually got knocked out in the warm-up. So I don't remember a huge amount of it, and I hope you had a good debut, because I don't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Bryn Bradley goes direct on the line that i so often seen big Andre run. James Chisholm busy bustling Hold in, front. in the opening exchanges and that's interesting from Will Edwards Mike Haley oh, owns gotta, the airspace got to make that he's just roaming around move away well, instructions received and three Queens players eventually set upon the try scoring fullback and Carberry looking comfortable oh, on the ball hands, massaging the defence and a bite in Opens up room down this left edge. Shane McCarthy. He's got wheels. Good tackle. Great cover tackle. But he can't oh, run sidelines. through that crunching cover shot. The Munster are still alive. There's big John Ryan propping up in the midfield. And Carberry gets split in two by the heavy shoulder of Lennox and Yanwu. What a hit. Come on, Joel. Good end result from the from the Quinn's defensive. Tough to uh, tough to concede a line break, you know, inside their half. But it comes from the kick, really, doesn't it? We kick, kick there, and then don't make a don't make a dominant tackle. It's extremely hard to, and you let a lad like Mike Haley run around. It's going to be uh, back foot for the rest of the few phases. Let's go back, boys. Let's go, Charles. Come on, boys. Let's go. Well, if you weren't aware, both these sides are sponsored by DHL, so. Mentioned in the build at the unofficial DHL derby here this evening. Crouch! Shout out to the sponsors. Bind! Well, Quinns get to really enjoy any time in Munster's half. They, they know they're 22 well thus far. And Will Edwards finds a dumping kick. Clean through the halfway. Not right now. Here you go. Top of the line, please. Five call. Shout out to Dylan Lewis sending horrible text yep. messages about our commentary, Joe. Five hold there. Should probably be in bed, ready to play Ireland tomorrow. <laughs> so. Staying up to watch the Quinn, so well done, Dylan. Good lad. Bit of Irish research. Oh, another huge blow from Lennox Anyanwu, who is still on one knee, collecting Wait. his thoughts. Wait. The Quinn's with the turnover. That's play as well. Ball breaks free, and Hamish Smells is happy for play to continue. There's Roma Jank. Hands away. Almost Hands dances away. free of the first challenge. Quinns reorganise themselves in Joe Launchbury. Use it. Another short high ball from Green and it's claimed by those in red before it spills into Quinn's hand. So Joe Launchbury this time goes out the back and so does Will Edwards who pops up a gift for Carberry. Well, this is they're gifting each other those two this is uh harem scarum stuff at the moment neither side treasuring possession but mike haley runs into 
Lennox has brought his shoulders today, hasn't he? Good boy. Another spleen splitter from Lennox and Yanwu. Three in a row. Lad. I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the Munster coach scratched his car in the car park on the way. <laughs> it has been gruesome stuff from Lennox and Yanwu in this opening quarter of an hour. So brilliant read out the back. Jerry and Geordie will be chuffed with that. Lenny making good decisions on the ball when the ball's in the air. Hey, Miss, just be aware you've got a lot from the field. Part two so of a trilogy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, He's back. Are we allowed to big up an outside centre when you're here on yeah, Let's go course. comms, Luke? Of course. He's more of a 12 anyway, isn't he? We all are when we need to be. Six, <laughs> he thinks. He scored six. Amongst that with the penalty have driven themselves is deep into Quinn's territory oh, as when they score they break oh, free there's no one at home the captain Ken Dallin speed bumps his way across the line and Munster have to the cork man well he had the great honour of captaining the province for the first time at the Parquet Cueve when they beat the Crusaders he's got the armband this evening and he is leading by example oh, Max Green pleading for help there pleading for a forward sure okay yeah He's been a linchpin of this month's side. 22 appearances all told in the URC winning campaign. Absolutely raced to a half century appearances of appearances and he's still only 22. That's as sweet as it gets from Joey Carberry. Munster maximise their second try too and they lead the home side 14 points to nil. I think this is going to be a good chance for Quinns to try and, try and get some territory back in, in Munster's half. Hey, try and, and uh, withhold a little bit of pressure. I think we're a bit guilty of over, over okay. trying, head over, head over playing. Do an on field assessment that time off please. We can, uh, We've earned the right to play, and we probably haven't yet. Munster have had the okay. fair share of the ball. And, um, He's going HIA, oh, I it believe. Looks like Will Collier is having a jog off. Tell me they're very in. Shame. They're just checking with the independent doctor. Confirmed HIA. Please wait for replacement. Well, it is an HIA. Will Jeff Collier. On. He's speaking of linchpins. Is so it's often. Memory the fulcrum of the Quinn's scrum doesn't look very happy to be being forced off but it does herald the arrival of one of the great characters one of the great blokes of rugby love joy Chawatama it's not a bad player as well Luke Good to go. no Thanks excellent you. player I just say Thank great you. character an amazing bloke to have around the building and, Stand back uh, on, it's please. nice to see him get some game time albeit for uh, Collier's dismissal head down pumping the legs hard in pursuit of that kickoff and wants to get a good bit of return out of the carry just spotting enough room between the shoulders to slide through don't pull well that's a well judged box and the escort is very good a crescent of quarter jerseys make the take easy Munster are hungry for defence, there's Tackle now, Josh release, Whitley. ball's there, it's your own man. It's taken a while to roll over. It's your own man's away, legs. Away, We've got the ball back. Be on side, please. And that's a better kick. That's a really inviting kick. Inviting kick. But Carberry crashing the party smartly taken 
on the inside ball and amongst the taste no lift Lovejoy's shoulder no lift out the back they go and the cap seemingly open up, opening up around that channel That's Rory Scanner doesn't find the ball through scrum advantage because he knocked it on what? that seems a little bit well, no and good job the First, whistle went Cam knew the whistle was going it's a bit strong Quinns First, second. A relief for Quinns there. That's a young hooker. Okay, gents. Gant it. Let's get these scrums moving a bit quicker, please. Let's get some nice. Brilliant from Will Evans, just recognising when the ball's in the air. Second. Here we go, cheeky one James Chisholm as well. Healthy blindside for Quinns to work with Crap here. They've sink. got Cam Anderson oh. and Raymond Zheng. Bye! Nice. Bye. Nice. Bye. Gets Roma's hands early, wouldn't it? Set! Have a look at what the young fella can do with a bit of space. Far side. Red has to get a Young Roma is Quinn's known for his devastating okay. finishing. We saw a taste of it in the Premiership Club we'll earlier in the higher, season, okay. and he's still bind. studying nice at Cardiff bind, University. I Here understand that finishing his dissertation time is time, top of the list of priorities for, for him at the moment. I've been reliably informed. As it should be. As it should be. Which I know it was top of your Let's list of priorities when you were at Cardiff Net. Absolutely. Absolutely. Studies come first. Crouch sink! But hopefully this evening we get to dissect Five. a bit of his explosive wow. finishing. Set! It's a real battle in the scrum. Green looks left, right goes left. And Yanru, we've seen his destruction in defence, and this time we see him carry an attack. James Chisholm tips it on beautifully timed to Will Trenum, who Glides through back against the grain. No, of Quince. Have a little penalty. bit of fluency. Cam Anderson spots some room. Heads into the heavy traffic. Yeah. And he hits red advantage. lines. Oh. And no look tip from Chisholm. Must look very comfortable in defence, didn't they? they? Look very comfortable. Get men around around the corner quickly. It's a tough red water face every phase, but. Little tips like that, little little plays in the line to try and break, break a little weak shoulder is what Quinns are going to need to get, get on the front foot. And is this the first 22 entry? Come the grass is yours! This is the first the 22 grass. entry. Bang on 22 minutes. So. Luke responds and so do the crowd big moment this for Quinns and they pouch the ball cleanly in the skies and they build that drive more quarter Quinns surge in but it's riddled with red tentacles Hamish Smells has his arm out the penalty advantage for the home side and they break away and battle their way to the ground Mark's here Number one, changing bind first. I think we should do that again. Changing bind. Number one. Sorry. Deeper Quinns go. Lines the middle. Lines the middle. He called them all, Luke. Wait till he's on the floor. Let's get yeah, the Yeah, I think it's going to be a Five. weapon that both teams are going Five. to use. I can't comment on the mindset of the forwards, but I feel like it maybe is a bit of an ego battle. I'm not. It's a huge weapon for Quinns, and it has been this season. So. Oh. I'm sure that both teams are going to want to try and use it as a big threat. The Quins go to their totem. They go to the captain. Yeah, he's nice. He's Slow progress as Quins look to drop it into the lower ratios and just crank their way to the bed. A spin from the melee and a try for Jack Walker. Quins on the board and back in the contest.
that's a little bit more sustained pressure, isn't it? Two balls, force a few errors. It comes from a comes from good front foot ball, really playing on playing on top, causing Massa to give a penalty away, and then capitalising on a, on being inside their 22. Good conversion rate from Quinns. talk about conversion rate I think if you look at the game as a whole the red zone efficiency is probably flawless from both and absolutely crucial from Jack Walker to arrest the momentum a great strike Charlie kicking momentum. well is important for Will Edwards to yeah, get off the, the mark the in good fashion as well yeah definitely I think uh, It'll definitely settle a few nerves to start with. The scoreboard is going to be something that both teams are going to look to just keep ticking over. Although it's a friendly, and uh, we say Come on, everyone wants to see a good yeah. running game of rugby. Ultimately, points on the board is what's going to uh, going to matter at the end. Joe Carberry goes very long to Cam Anderson, oh. uh, who is pressured by Shane McCarthy, who charges, he pounces, and Munster respond in a flash. I was already 10 metres up the field. Slightly speechless, you know, I think, are we? I think. <laughs> what I'm glad we didn't say was it's really important for Quinns to exit well now after just gaining a little bit of momentum back. But there I've we are. back on the halfway already. You don't even need that. Oh, of course no, I do. Shane McCarthy Thanks. left the blocks like a 100 metre sprinter there. He got his frame in the way That's and... He's a man who knows where the paint is. Try on European debut against Bayonne. A try against Scarlets. His first in the URC last week. And now he's got one on British soil. It's great desire, isn't it, from a winger. Coaches will be chuffed to bits just seeing that those scores just come from working exceptionally hard. So credit where it's due on that front. First miss of the evening isn't enough to dampen the mood of Munster or the many fans who they have here at the Stoop. I know wherever you go in the world, you'll always find an Irish posse, but there is plenty of Munster men and women here in West London cheering on their province this evening, and they're delivering at the moment. Use it. On his foot. Right footer. Right footer. Another tricky distance and Cam Anderson shakes off the disappointment of that charge down and takes it well. Will Evans. Will Edwards. Lennox Anyangwu almost spots a hole to go gliding through but the door gets shut. Chisholm. It's a good carry there. Good carry. Speed of ball. Tigerish carry from the number eight and love Joy Chowatama. Runs into three red bodies, including Big John Ryan, launch break. This is what Quinn's need at the moment. Let's keep hold of the ball. That's, come on, ref. Come to advantage. I think you might be listening to the stream there, Lee. Come for you, don't play the nine. Munster too eager, playing the nine. It was a bit of a messy situation, wasn't it? The counter-racking was good, created enough disruption, but ultimately... Creates a bit of indecision that Quinn's profit from. Another opportunity to go back inside the 22. Hopefully keep another bit of pressure on. And that's a good kick. Thank you. The last time, Quinn's kick to the 22, the same. Music sounded. And they were chorused to the try line. On your front man, that's a metre. They go to the front, they go oh. to Joe Launchbury, but this time they break away. Evans brings in. Oh, oh brilliant. A first sumptuous set-piece move first that delivers. Will Edwards signed, sealed, delivered without a shred 
the Munster defensive DNA upon him. Glorious shakes from Quinns. <laughs> A try fest in the first half. That's exactly what Quinns needed. Will Evans walks in untouched. I think that's probably a, the beauty of having a strong maul is that Munster immediately think a, a big maul's coming, makes it backs on backs, and Will Evans, Will Edwards there just uh, using his pace, putting his head down. Not the biggest man in the world, but it's just about finding the right line and sticking his foot on the gas. The timing of all those passes, all those lines, everything that was going on, it was pure, wasn't it? Almost as if it was planned. Well, he converts his own score, does the man who became a new father in September. This time tonight, the delivery. You're on it tonight. Try. You are on it tonight. It's a comedy show on a Friday night as well. As well as Timing. It's really important for Prince Alexia here. Well, they put it on Cam Anderson. Who this time shovels <laughs> it to James Chisholm. I think he had time to kick that one, but I'd certainly be passing it to the big fella if, uh, if that was me. Use it! Yes, nice abdication of responsibility. If in doubt, Five. give it to one of the biggest blokes I've ever seen. And Max Green, once again, probably wanting the eight iron, but finding the lob wedge we're probably a little bit just too eager to exit from wherever wherever the ruck is we probably have a bit more patience about this to uh, try and give Max an easier kick down down the, down the channel but uh, hey he's the man in charge he'll be the one marshalling those forwards around so he must he must enjoy it there well it's a lively old affair we're already into the last 10 oh, minutes and oh. that's the first stolen line out of the evening and Quinns are the ones doing the thieving that's green three on side three on side that's Will Evans Jack Walker and James Chisholm to bully through for a few metres give himself a little bit of added angle for the box use it no be on side adds an extension to the caterpillar and the try scorer McCarthy shows that he's just as secure under the high ball as and he's, all, he's oh. silky when it comes to finishing and almost. I think his own at, teammate has knocked that out of his hands there, eh? wishing him well on the, on the run. He's a slippery customer. Yeah, very yeah. impressive. Great start to the game. 30 minutes in and he's looked lethal with the ball in hand. He works really hard off his wing. Keep it away from him is probably yeah. what the plan will be for Hold the up. second half. You guys keep going. Uh, just glass bottle. Well wrapped up. Pick that up and take off the side. Keep going, keep going. He's probably figuring out. That bloke on the big screen looks like me. Crouch! Shink. Bind! Set! The scrum has been really even. Little bits of instability, but Edwards pumps it down the throat of Mike Haley. Hold in front! Good. Edwards is there, just as comfortable on side now. Back yeah. as he is, fly half. McCarthy well, steps himself. He's not on the ball. Not McCarthy, I beg your pardon. I think it is from Gibbons. All the action has been on McCarthy's wing thus far. The Munster have looked good when they got outside the outside centre channel. Real man holding in. carry from Kian Hurley. Sean O'Brien can't quite squeeze that ball away. Another who's made a debut against Quinns in his time, but that was wearing the colours of extra cheese. John Ryan goes plunging through a hole and then has the soft skills to offload to Benin Witcherly. He goes slaloming through the defenders. Munster on the front foot. Chisholm with a meaty blast Bounty out of again. And Yanru transforms into a missile O'Brien 
dribbles a tricky ball through. Brim Bradley looks over his shoulder. <laughs> the feet. penalty was already there. Off feet feet right. against James Chisholm there for for the clear out. Yeah, when the top heavy man goes stumbling, it's hard to find his feet again. He's uh, been hit once. How comfortable the monster look in their shape. Corner, yeah. it's brilliant. It's the way they keep the ball, move it to the width well. They're really accurate when they get to the get to the edges. And then off those through the middle, you know, big fellas with uh, good hands. Really impressive stuff, really. Hey, just get on with it. I'm not too happy with the uh, way the linesman's put his flag up. Here, yours. Well, Jerry Carberry is indignant. Hey, Mish Bob, five minutes. Let's go. We're not huddling. Let's go. Thanks, Bob. Five calls. Five minutes remaining of the half. Munster. Back in position eight. They thought they should have been closer. But ten metres will have to go do. They go to the middle. They go to Jack Daly. You've had you once. And they just get a little creep around the corner. The bodies come to a heap and Hamish Snell's arm is thrust out in advantageous fashion for the men from Limerick. For anybody who that's would fine know there, what but first of all, so that sack collapse. Fair play, cause yeah. it's just a bunch of big blokes whacking each other and then falling over. I'm sensing that you're very happy Lines with your middle. position half as a back please. in the Absolutely. game. Half off the line. <laughs> I get hurt enough being a back. Seven, as well. seven calls. <laughs> Forty-two. So this will be a bigger line out. Seven men called. Wait till Options he's on the are ground. plenty. Jack Set O'Sullivan, up. Jack Daly. And they go to O'Sullivan. Oh. He has to have a juggle in the air. And he crawled down cleanly, but again, a little bit of instability. A creep around the corner. The weight of the Reds shifting to the right, but to the back line, Cotlin goes. Carberry squeezed for time. So too McCarthy. And Quinn's right at the stall. Yep, yeah, balls there. That's good defence from Quinns. Real good pressure from Cass on the edge. Will Edwards coming up. Trying to shut down as many passes. Munster are a team that likes to make a lot of short, sharp passes to beat you around the corner. But, uh, Top of the line's yours. Great, great defence from inside our 22. There's a lot of backs and forwards harmony, isn't We're not there, huddling, with let's the go. way the Munster are playing at the moment. Oh, absolutely. They look Come like on. a team who um, know exactly what they're doing. They Time off. Got then. their structure and their plan down to a T. We're not huddling every other time, though. Okay, so let's just speed it up. And if you look at Munster surface level, ninth in the URC, you might think, well, they're not having the greatest season, and yeah, they've they've had some losses that they will yep. look to erase from their memories. Most notably, that one against Northampton at Toman Park, which is like hen's teeth in European rugby. Sorry, but. There's only three points in the URC that lie okay, between them and Benetton in fourth position. So it's a real snakes and ladders table, much like Thanks, the Gallagher well, Premiership as well. Quinn's in second, but there's a lot of action beneath them all the way down to Sale in seventh. Absolutely, Five the fourth. Premiership this year especially has become, a, become one of the tightest leagues going. It's, every game becomes a huge must-win game. Oh, nice waves. That's like you and I. Yeah. They could see us sat here. It is us, actually. Yeah, yeah. You can't see the microphones underneath the head. Off the bootstraps. That is some carry from stationary. In fact, sort of taking it in mid-air. And played backwards. Ken Bellin leaves the ball behind. Carberry oh, tries wow. to create a bit of magic, and he does just that. That's a good steal. That's wow, a that is a brilliant steal, isn't it? Well, Trano, that's an excellent steal. Holding on. He's got it a few tonight. The rest come up short, but this one, perfect timing. So like a like a python there, wasn't he? Just jerking towards the ball, saw his opportunity and snapped at it. Yeah, and that's what all good all good back rowers do. They recognise when you know it was an unbelievable kick and regather from from Joey Carberry, but to be able to notice he's on his own. Here we go. Give him the line. Been watching Will Evans for Give him a while. Line do that for many Line's years yours. just recognising when Line's yours. when a player is on the floor Almost. without any support and you can go after Famous the ball it's a great minutes. steal hopefully Bob. relieved a bit of pressure from us Senior Academy Player of the Season last year Will Trenham 
And there he is, showing five. what he can do in the line out. And putting in a long busting orchestration of the rest of his forwards. And that is a bit of swimming if ever I saw it. McCarthy tested and fails. Oh, and he's been in the air, is it? Tackle That's him in the air. Then he's knocked it on. Josh! Very fine margins there. Just a millisecond off the hit. You can get a look here. And you, what, what a kick indeed. Yeah, this is, uh, this is exactly five, please. probably the position that Nines want to kick from to be able to give give wingers like Roma and, and Cass. You know, that's an unfortunate one there. You've probably got to hold your feet just a little bit more. But, uh, you yeah, know, a great kick. And we've probably got to pay a bit more respect to that, you know, especially in the second half. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Here, here. Well, we've absolutely rattled through this Step first in. half. It's been a real Step. joy, Step. in fact. Five tries yeah, move get out and the five gap. points. The difference out of the gap. between these two expansive sides. And Will Trennan is having a few Steel. big moments in the dying embers of this first half as Steele and two significant contributions in the lineup. Cassius Cleves. That's a great gather from Cass. First man, Steele, number 12. It's that breakdown again. The monster backs just going at it like forwards oh, timing's good and Max Green gets a nice shot in on Joey Carberry he doesn't like Holy it front. yeah I wonder why Joey doesn't like that this, this, it's just a game of rugby that mate don't be upset top of the line committed committed yeah. defence out there tonight I thought, I thought that was a relatively clean, clean tackle he's, he's quite upset by that wasn't he maybe it's okay. a you know, scrum half fly Six half thing you know don't touch the quarterbacks, the Mavericks, they say. Hamish, Bob, your time. Thanks. The final play. More. Of the Inside first side. half. And Munster going to the drive. They've not had too much change out of it. It was the platform for the Kendallan to try. Low hit coming in from Will Evans and Carberry goes skating through the tackles. He's got Real propulsion on those heels when he gets off the mark. He literally gets clattered as he rises from having to stoop low. Well, that's simple one out from Josh Witcherly. Monster breaking a few tackles, the captain this time. And simple confrontational carry, this time a little bit wider. And this time Rory Scannell. Punching a few meters, Strips but again the breakdown works supreme from Quinns. <laughs> Isn't giving it stationary, oh, but top man to yeah, it's get time. any advantageous yes. tackle on, isn't it? He's an incredible carrier in the close. Cheers, the way he manages to manipulate his body, being six foot five and a big hefty lump. But uh, yeah, Greeny's kicked that out for half time, and that's probably the right call where we are and the pressure we sustained. Well, a hugely entertaining first 40 here. At the stoop, Munster, the men on top, but only just three tries to the Irish province. But Quinns, those huddles, we can't have any more. Enjoying okay. their time under uh, the floodlights as yeah. well, to the tune yeah, of two. Almost someone on our ball. Okay, let's have a look. Sure. Okay. He got one yeah, of them. An and that body language just tells you how energy sapping. That's a man who's mauled for 40 minutes. Yeah. That's a that, man who's mauled for 40 minutes. Half was. So the players trudge their way off. And half time here at the steep. Harlequins 14, Munster 19. So plenty of tries to enjoy from that first half. The first one was for Munster and had an air of controversy about it mainly from that pass from Joey Carberry but as the old adage goes play to the whistle and Mike Haley did just that cruising across the line having received a nice inside ball from Fionn Gibbons Mike Haley back in red and back scoring tries Munster were showing us their ruthless side in the opening quarter and having sheared off the captain when it alone ignoring his scrum half 
and clattering over the opposition scrum half Max Green the collateral damage as Alex Kendellen got Munster off with a double but this was the response from Quinns consecutive penalties driving them closer and closer into Munster territory and that driving ball proving too difficult to repel nice spin from the England hooker and that was the try that Queens really needed to get themselves back into the game and it put the home side up in front of plenty of fans here at the stoop but this is something that you'll rarely see and it'll be on Shane McCarthy's highlight reel charged down within seconds of the reception from Cam Anderson predatory work from the 21 year old he's making a bit of a name for himself in red in the early days of his career Joey Carberry didn't land the kick for the first time of the evening so months to move to 19 that this was a perler from Quinns the finest try of the evening perfectly timed perfectly executed Will Edwards leaping loving life as he pierced through the heart of the Munster defence look at that gorgeous work and that would be the scoring for the half there's been opportunities at both ends the lion's share being in Quinn's 22 if truth be told but at half time as the DHL box fan engagement on the pitch gets underway and it's Harlequins 14 months to 19.
Well, the men who are leading, Munster, are out in a hurry. They're eager to sink their teeth into the second half and look to certainly extend their lead, but at the very minimum, seal a victory away from home and set themselves up nicely for their next URC encounter which will be against Zebra at Musgrave Park. Lukey, here come Quinns. What are the messages that have been getting delivered downstairs? Uh, the biggest one's probably going to be stay, stay in Munster's half as long as possible. Stay in that half, keep the pressure on. We can see what Munster are capable of when, they, uh, when they've got the ball and they're attacking us. So probably try and keep the ball for as long as possible. Been a fair few changes to the sides, both sides really, coming out in the first half. It's not my job. So we'll get one that he can kick properly this time. Make sure it goes 10. Come on. And Will Evans just screaming for a rugby ball. He must be so desperate for the game to re kick off again. Ready. Will Evans strikes me as a man who sleeps in pajamas with rugby balls on. <laughs> That's only in his head. He doesn't like to admit how much he loves rugby. Crunching blow from Cassius Cleves and Rory Scannell to start the half. Munster eyeing up Zebra next, then Ospreys, then Cardiff, and then it's that big European clash against Northampton Saints at Franklin's Gardens where they'll have a little taste of revenge on their lips, I'd imagine. First carry for Nathan Jaboulou coming on. He's placing Jack Walker at halftime. That's a bit better from Quinn's good intent and Cassius away. Cassius Cleaves, razor edge. Cassius Cleaves goes surging through the Munster ranks. Quick recycle. One pick and go. Munster scrambling. It's a good carry. Couple of meters away. The Irishman reorganised, but Nathan Jabulu has so much strength, almost muscling his way across the line. Cam Anderson on the wing, screaming for the ball, but I just don't think he's going to get it, and that's the try. Well, it didn't need to go any further than a millimetre from the post protector. A melee of bodies, both red and quartered, and that's the man who started it all, Cassius Cleet, the first bit of room, and this winger is electric. This is much better from Quinns, as we said, going into halftime, hadn't fired any shots with the ball in hand, but being able to use the, use the wingers, use their super strengths, Cassius unbelievable coming on the uh, shoulder of, of the tens, and Will Edwards makes a brilliant decision at the line. A little bit of a slip from Munster, and, and they're punished for it. We're back to being level. We'll have to get a little bit of uh, little bit of info from downstairs as to who exactly scored that. But one thing's for sure is that Will Edwards doesn't look like missing this okay, evening. Okay. And for the first time tonight, Harlequins take the lead against their esteemed visitors. And this Another great, great view. Okay, Just biding his time. Cash just sitting in behind, wait, waiting for the gap to open up. And then he's obviously got the pace. Max Green screaming yeah, for the ball, over. you're not getting that off a, off a quick winger there. there. Incredibly, he was tackled by Josh Witcherly, the loose head prop. He was the one who eventually got Cassius Cleves. Fastest in the squad at Quinns, Cassius? Uh, he's definitely up there. Um, Caden Murley. I think Caden would probably have a few things to say about that. Probably tuning in. Five yeah, I hope, well, I hope ground, so. He's please. prepping for a, a huge game on Sunday, and we're absolutely chuffed to bits for Caden. So, congrats if he is listening. Great opportunity for him. Sam Riley in there as well. Yeah, plenty of Queens. Absolutely chuffed them. Finn, Sam, Oscar, Caden. Hope I've not missed anybody else. Queens, stay there. Yeah, first Queens for me, 20, shift. Step. Get yourself in the gap. Set your own gap. 
Off there. Let's go. Munster have gone back to the mall. I think probably just a little bit shocked by Quinn's intensity in the second half. Just to concede within three, four minutes of this was always a bit of a blow. Oh. The hole almost opening up, but the pressure. Passes away again. Cargo left behind oh. by Sean O'Brien. Loose ball, and Cam Anderson has the spin on his heels. Lennox and Yanwu drops it kick into a bit of space and the oh, chase is good and that's a nice sort of scudded oh that's a nice football less control from holding, cam anderson there. that's nice and calm and now and cam holding anderson he started the season kick, kick him with a flat ball here the ball's not going anywhere <laughs> out will edward just changed that myth just out. booted it now and it's gone off the side of the boot and it's opened up this left field for Munster, who've got the ball flowing through the hands and with one of their big men in Jack Daly. That's a brilliant tackle. Brilliant double tackle there from Ernie and Chiz. And he hurts onto the field. Colm Hogan as well. An interesting journey back into the red jersey. Oh, the chasm opens up in the Quinns midfield. Jack O'Sullivan rampaging. Munster doing to Quinns as Quinns done to Munster. Excellent play, as you can see. Big long fizz ball all the way out to that edge. And it's a brilliant tackle from Bryn Bradley. Penalty advantage. Wraps up the danger, but Quinns give away a penalty under pressure. Munster pouring the red jerseys in. They know they can roll this attacking dice. And they'll have possession back, come what may. Coughlin. And Tony Butler. Excellent score. Good patience from Munster in in the five metres, isn't it? It's easy to get to get white line fever and start hunting, but just have the ability to slow the ball down there and just take their time and then choose the right moment and it's a good carry good carry from the replacement 10 this is huddles in the line out well a bit of hesitation there because he's, he's wearing the same in. number it's jersey as joey carberry but i can assure you uh, yeah, I'll get the gap, that, that is 21 year old tony there, butler they're getting antsy and trying to come up another so man from ennis thanks so claire being done proud tonight in the red of the province Great strength as well, just to ride that tackle and find his way to the line. Well, plenty of points. You hear that it's a good grub to enjoy. Yeah, it's, you know, I thought we were going to watch that for a bit longer then. Big messages from both both sets of coaches, so it seems, with a good intent to play for the second half. So I'm glad to see that as a spectator. Eight seconds. Thanks. And no extras to add. So Munster will settle for the try. They close the gap. A three-point game and look, Coughlin sprung into action and Butler with the confidence and with the physicality to finish the opportunity. Rory Scano. Okay, use it. Coughlin, who's looked assured and he's kicked very very well too puts one uh, into the no man's land and he's the one who's first to his own bounce I think the crowd are right to be booing now push him first. the wingers over chase that no nothing all backwards taken back in but cam anderson has three attempts and eventually he reels it in gives a little bit of a show to edwards on his shoulder you're off uh, first pass the ball got Stop lucky the you're so off seems... hands pass yet Hands pass first, stopping the clear out. There. Yeah, there. 
brilliant back stoop on a Friday night. It's, it's a social scene, isn't it? Down yeah, here? for sure. You know, he's done well to keep that in. And it doesn't look like he fancies being stopped. Oh, Tom Hogan has almost run over. Big Ernie Hurts. I wonder if Big Ernie will make him pay for that in a latter he's passage. Gonna, he's not going to like that. The Hold in front. That looks like a brilliant kick. Well kept in. Goodness, that oh, is never. the most tantalising, the most frustrating, the most oh. devilish 50-22 I think you'll ever see. That was Martin. an excellent kick. Will Edwards did everything he could to, uh, to try and keep Go that on. in. A tightrope artist. Dispatch. <laughs> Munster again the line out good again the carrying heavy and purposeful through the midfield Scannell goodness me the inside centre get through a lot of work yeah that was an incredible carry that changes angle door slammed shut as Munster looked to go around the corner Coughlin really dictating the direction and the tempo nicely now good meters for Munster shuddering shot on Fenin Witchelly. Be on side. Use it. Kean Hurley. The other half of the engine room takes it in advance. Jack Daly. He's returning after a long old road after an ACL against Leinster at Lansdowne Road, looking hungrily to get good quality minutes under his belt. Again. Witchley into the freight. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so. No, no, no. Great patience from both sides, isn't it? Here. Yeah. Takes a lot for the defensive team to not give anything away under so much pressure, but Munster just keep the ball so well. They know exactly forward to a drill excellently. They know what to do, get around the corner, get around the corner. Another great example of why I don't want to be a forward is to just deal with this for 80 minutes. Munster have one more search to the line, but still onside, they are right repelled. The Queen's defence holding onside. firm and legally so. The bodies pile in again. Scott oh, Buckley. Jinxed it. Jinxed the advantage it. for Munster out the back, read exceptionally once again by Lennox and Yanwu. But a, Second surge almost takes He's Munster fine. to the try line. Six. Left pace, mate. Left pace. Got to use your arms in the tackle here. Use your arms. No. Number 23 again, Tom Hogan. An unbelievable carry. Gets back to his feet after the chop. Just leg drive. He's uh, come out with a great intent in the first 12 minutes of the second half. OK, decision. Let's go. Behind the line. A tap penalty. And we know... These Irish provinces like a bit of trickery to the way they go about this business, but there's no subtlety. That is all about the bulldozer from Munster. Josh Witchley reaches. He makes the line. Hit the line and came back. Hit the line and drove back. Oh, I don't think he's seen that. You say no magic there, just straight brute force. The ball's come out. Ball squirms out. Works for Munster. Works for Jack Daly. Just his second senior try yeah, for Munster. Right, say try, try, try. No first team appearances this season, but making a try scoring mark at the stoop here tonight in West aware. London. Monster have changed their whole front row. All tactical. Okay, thank you. One, I think you're off, sir. Thank you. I think Josh Witchley there has been, it's been hard done by, hasn't he? His name won't go down on the list, but. Uh, Hopefully his teammates thank him for a great carry. Well, this is one of those. This is like a bounce pass. Just the manner in which the ball came free, almost unsettled the Queen's defence, didn't it? Back can, towards me, ten. As, ten. You, as you say, one bounce of the ball can, can change all the momentum, the swing. Thank you. And that's a great carry. Big, strong carry. A few metres away. It's a tough adjust. A 
And both sides have made changes within this break as well. Munster front row, full front row replacement. And uh, Tom Lauday's come on for uh, the Quins, replacing Will Evans. 15 seconds, Hamish. Thank you. Try against London Scottish for uh, Tom Lauday last time out. So it's great to see him get another opportunity now. Hasn't had a huge amount of game time this uh, this season. So a man of his talent, it's great to see him come on with another 25 minutes to go. Found in our position uh, quite frequently when he was out with his calf industry, uh, industry injury, Luke. Yeah, star brilliant. turn on BBC London Radio as a no commentator. Talk, talks well, he, does talk well. Talks well. He knows loads of big words. Well, clever. Went to Exeter, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all of those guys know big words and they're good at talking. They make them up. They make them up most of the time. Simon Carrad, great to see him get a run out. Someone who works incredibly hard, and loves the gym. Simon Carrad. And Simon Carrad, limited to just a couple of appearances in the Premiership this season. Penalty advantage. Passes Cleves. Ever looking for right room. Law Day, no look ball inside to Trenham, who gets met with the full weights of Munster's offensive law. Look at those shots coming thundering in. Stephen Archer, Not the most capped Munsterman in history. Yeah. Showing no, no signs of slowing down Seven. in his. Um, Just as we were praising their defence, they seem to give a penalty away for offside. A little bit too eager after making a few dominant shots. And a great chance to get inside the 22 for Quinns. Top of the line, please, Red. Top of the line. It's an area of the field that Quinns haven't been afforded much time in brilliant score will we see the oh, same player half off. Yeah. well it's a five man line out. all the options there Tom Lord a position just to the right of Will Edwards not receiving Bryn Bradley invites James Chisholm Tackle. to come hurtling onto the ball instead Nathan Jabouli gets ignored but Will Trenham makes good advantage, meterage penalty, penalty oh, advantage of Quinns as well they'll use this be nice to see an experiment here. Just put a few things together. Yeah, That's a great carry. Two rucks ago. Get on and play. And Nathan Dabulu, one of three hugely exciting young hookers, all vying for that two jersey along with oh, Jack Walker. Oh, brilliant! Bryn Bradley says, "Sit down." To Sean O'Brien. Quinn yep. still with the advantage, the advantage, not making many Another meters excellent here. Excellent carry. Dabulu. Oh. No. So powerful, big looping big one. Pass. Options offside and not rolling. One here, one there. Options one here, one over there. Starting to build a few yeah, things, a ball going. in hand. Just to Where do you want continue it? to keep there, the ball for here. a little bit longer, go through this the phases. Okay. I think we'll yep. start to see a few gaps Fine. open up. Keep coming, Hamish. Yeah, we're good here. Yeah, here. Hamish at the line out, nine quins replacement. Okay. Uh, nine quins, sub, please. Just tell him, please. You right? Well, quins are in disarray at the moment. They missed the touch. And I'll tell you what. Nine sub, please. No one was really sub, paying please. attention there. That's a heartbreak of that. Yeah. that time. Top of the line, please. Worked so hard with a penalty. You wonder if Munster Top of the line could just yours. put that through the hands and look to pick off Quinns, who were looking very disconnected. Uh, Max Fine. Green has made way and Lewis Jaltima. Uh, Bryn, good. great decision. Has come onto the field. Bryn Bradley is beginning to come increasingly yeah. prominent, but the, floor. the faintest error. Something's okay. happened, isn't there? One of the breakdowns. Don't worry, it's a scrum. We've got plenty of time to set up. A lot of limbs down there. Oh, 
Max Klein is on as well, the 20 year old wearing 16 right there. His senior debut for Munster. And the man who's playing his rugby for Gary Owen. Great day for him, great day for the Klein family. Converted back rower, as seems to be the way everyone wants to play back row, but only if you get to stay in the 6, 7 and 8 jersey, they, they eventually get repurposed, but Max Klein showing sufficient promise to be looking for Munster in a jersey that has produced some of the great hookers in Irish history. Balance front rows. Second row, stay off until we get to set. Nick as well, his mates from Crescent College, comprehensive. Probably be getting quite noisy at the telly as well, tuning in. Well, he's in against an absolute powerhouse in Nathan Jabulu. We've seen what he's like in the loose. We won't get to see him at scrum time because the free kick is used in Scannell or passes it to no one, but he's quick enough to scamper back and retrieve it himself. Brilliant hit from Han Yanwoosh. The timing looked exquisite. Yeah, that's a bit, that one seemed a little bit suspect. I don't know, I wonder if the earlier infringement was Tom Lorde before the ball had come up. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, either way, let's have a look in the replay. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. At the line out, if yep. successful. I think it's Tom Lorde go, going Munster, over the ball, falling, falling past the ruck. But um, ten quins, a great shot from from Lenny. You know, defensively today, he's set a real marker out, hasn't he? Been exceptionally physical. Nine sub. Yeah, Number there's ten. There's no doubt, Lennox Anyanwu has taken Nine to the sub. field with a Time's real bee in his bonnet. Thank you. We're all and it's been great to see. Line. Yeah, absolutely. It's been amazing. You know, he's a, a really impressive young lad. Amazing physical talent, and he's certainly using it today. Connor Slevin is on with no number on his jersey, but plenty of form, plenty of talent as well. And well, it's a juggling session out here for the boys. Lord A's oh, done really well. He's so good at that. Just the unglamorous, unsexy meters. Tom Lorde, very, very strong. Now, please. Lewis Joutemer has only been seen in once in the Premiership this season for Quinns. Picks out Colm Hogan. He's an interesting yep. journey. He's gone to France and he's played for Tasman in the NPC on his way to coming back to Munster, the 27 year old. Lovely oh, wow. transfer up, out of the tackle and Witchley showing a turn of pace and finding Ethan Coughlin to cruise under the upright. What an incredible offload that was. Few men deserve that try more in red this evening, but it was all about the O'Sullivan offload, the pace of Witchley and the try scoring instinct of Coughlin running the supporting line. Yep. Yeah, as all good scrum halves do, that's brilliant. Just running that arc and line, always following the ball. And uh, he's got his just reward for it. Turn just here, please. Well, this Thanks. is the moment. Oh, Credit there where it's due. I thought oh, for a moment that, he, that was a bit of a fluke, but it seems all intentional. Great offload. Well, he burst through with the intention, didn't he, of getting mm. his hands free and finding that offload. And you know, the big second row for Neen Witchley. <laughs> Looking as comfortable in open spaces he has done in the tight clinches this evening. Coughlin under the uprights. Butler with the easiest kick of the night. And Munster all of a sudden with a handsome lead. 21 points to 38. 16 and a half minutes remaining. That's a and better kick. Handle. That. Great shot. Gets swallowed by Cassius Cleves. Okay, lost. Use it. 
Cheeky there from the scrum half. Just to Cam Anderson again tested in the air and again monster first to the bounce. So Sullivan, the creator, also getting down and dirty. More slick hands oh, from Munster. Brilliant. Exploring every blade of grass now here at the stew. The foxing feet, the oh, turn of pace, oh. the tumble into the 22. That's Stephen Kiley. Oh, brilliant tackle. What a defensive read from Lewis Jaltema. He needed to come because Munster are roaring red hot right now. A Sullivan doesn't get his hands free on this occasion. Archer in at half back. Oh. Scannell plucks it with a sticky paw. The hands round the back. Munster streaking into the corner. And Stephen Kiley rounding off. A coast to coast, edge to edge score that almost touched every Munster pair of hands on the park. Wow. That was unbelievable, wasn't it? That was very, very Quinn's hey, yep. Monster captain has been replaced. Quinn's have been played at their own the game here. Captain is number five. Name is Great Jimmy. intent in the carry. Okay, thanks. Great acrobats as well. Lord, they snuffed it out, and then there was more to come. Just Monster being brilliant on the when when they take their chances. Great skill set, great hands. The ball. Must have dried up. This is an unbelievable pass around the back. Lads behind the posts, please send Quinns six. Just so good at staying on top, aren't they? When they when they make a break and they get get behind, they're just so good at punishing you when they when you're on the back foot. It's been a brilliant and very impressive performance from Munster so far. Fifteen seconds, Hamish. Thanks, Bob. Well, the Quinns faithful find themselves in a funny flux. They're not sure whether to be upset or be in awe of that score from Munster, who get timed out on the conversion. Wow. It's not gone over, lads, because he That's the long. rules. That are the rules. I think he made that one as well. No kick there. He took too long. And Tony Butler doesn't add the extras. But let's sit back and enjoy the final moments of this wonderful Munster score. Timing, please. These hands are just brilliant. Just trying to keep the ball alive, playing with good intent. Well, Colm Hogan, who's received the kickoff, he was the man who delivered the try scoring passes. Turned himself to be a real. Jack, very, Jack in the yeah. box is coming on, hasn't he? I'm very impressed. It might sound like I'm fanboying him by the time we finish okay, this commentary, it, but what, in, what in his second Keep half? He's come on and Don't pull him. Use it. And this lad here, the 21 year old, six stop, six. Ethan Coughlin, has looked like he's had the coolest head on what has been a chilly night here at the Stoop. How well has he marshaled the game for a 21 year old? Brilliant. Be nice for Quinn to keep the ball here, to put some phases together. And Slevin gets his yeah, opportunity. There to we go. Kick that's it off, good. and that's a beautiful Brilliant. pass from Bryn Bradley. Roma Jiang, first bit of room to stretch his legs and show his attacking prowess. Yeah, excellent. It's really important that we stay on top now. Jaltima just delays the ball that comes out the back, and Quinn's have out. some real genuine momentum. The pass picked by Slevin good carry. to Jabulu who just propels himself forward Bradley gets met but he also shows a great deal of strength as well to bounce back in 17 roll out it's there, it's there. 17 roll out important now to convert this pressure Mark Donnelly having delivered the blow Got trapped at the bottom. And this okay, is the line out. Monster 13, please. Okay, 
13 being sub. replaced by Tyrone Green so it seems 1-3 sub good showcase for Cass tonight he hasn't had a huge amount of ball but worked really hard Top off it line, please. one glimpse of the magic he can produce and now we get to see the old head Tyrone come and do his thing uh, old head of 25 years old yeah you sit down and talk to Tyrone you realise he's old how old are you? no comment uh, one South African onto the field and one climbing high into oh, the sky. Brilliant carry. But one Excellent. Welshman hurtling through a hole. Bryn Bradley has brought the boss tonight. And one big blow there carries the young Welshman across the line for a deserved score. Very Welsh inside centre carry that, wasn't it? Outstanding. The Jamie Thank Roberts you. line. Thank you. Tom Lorde does really well, get the ball out here and Lewis Chalmer is staying nice and square and just give it to the big fella. Life's easy when you can just give the ball to the big fellas, isn't it? Well, Terrain Green was offering a bit of threat there, but there was only one man that was getting that ball, wasn't there? I think Tyrone is thankful for that as well, if I'm honest. Connor Slevin, who's been doing the majority of his business a bit further up the A316 for London Scottish this season. Does the business from the tee for Quinn. So, they're back into it. Still time, still time. Good to see both teams playing with intent. Quinn's just finding a little bit of form, a bit of front football. Let's go. Try number 11. A very entertaining evening this is what it's all about one of the great Irish sides over here in West London and both sets of players putting on a show and there's oh, no show yeah. like the Tyrone Green show a glimpse of the footwork and Roma Zheng skips the ball through into Munster's backfield a sense that things may break up a little bit in this closing 10 minutes it's 17's knee keeping it in Stephen Archer Good pressure from Quinn's Roma Zhang almost. Better from Quinn's, good exit. Brilliant from Tyrone looking at the short side, looking to find ways to uh, to get the ball in behind. And as you say, last ten minutes we're hoping that it's going to become a bit of a run for the neutral. Wait for the calls. Both sides. Well, there he is, Roma Zheng came through, well, the same pathway as you in many ways, or still, well, he's still studying at Cardiff University. Yeah, incredible, obviously, um, for Roma to, you know, put pen to paper with Quinn's while still being, being a student and having the time to focus on his studies must be hugely, hugely, huge confidence boost of, you know, how of the talent that he has and what Quinn's seeing him going forward. When you look at him, you know, in the flesh, he Just looks like an athlete. Wait, and he, um, all of us incredibly strong, higher. fast. We're all and he down. knows his way to the trial. Height up, height we can maintain throughout. Yeah, it's almost like Here's they've redrawn the Surrey height. boundaries, and it now Come encompasses King Coyne <laughs> at Cardiff Net. You, Domers, Roma. Surface, if there's no one excuse, place in Cardiff that can please. replicate Surrey, King Coyne's not far off, is it? <laughs> It's just the people that come out of it that might not be the same. So a pause for a breath as far as the backs are concerned in this into end match. One that's just got away from Quinns in the middle it's a good scrum of this great half. Monster splintered, but they get the ball away just in time. Loose ball from Scannell, probably. Oh, and it's the, it's the big fella again. First error of the evening. The wise head out there has just been steering this young, vivacious backline around all night. Witchley. Lovely subterfuge. Yeah, I think it was. And just as it opens up, a forward pass is called. Wow. wow. That's got the fans happy. That's got the fans happy. Come here. Yeah. 
Well, Quinn, want to get this going in a hurry. And we're we're going to take right, go. a look yeah. at this four pass. But also, the number of layers to this monster Come attack up, and the bodies coming round the corner. It's yeah, excellent, isn't it? Just the numbers they have the coming round. Just offers them already. so many options. And you have to pay respect to the, the big fellas running hard, but they've got deft uh, hands to be able to use it on side, in the wide channels. Side, yeah. It's been a very very good attack and performance from Munster this evening. We've moved from there to here. Time back on, please. Wonderful opportunity here for Quinns now. You see the steam pouring off those 16 hulking frames. That young lad trying to generate a little bit of heat to carry him through the remaining six minutes and a bit of change. Oh, the delay on the ball okay, let's use it. Go means that the Quinn's pack shuffle forward. Brim Badley offers his size oh. and Roma Zheng is brought in off his wing. Slevin is taken out in the process. Chisholm oh. goes bounding through some monster hits. There's red hands in there. The Quinn's resource, all the energy, all the momentum is coming round this corner. Oh, Slevin delays the ball. But the hurried shovel. And just the departure of fluency. Sees Bryn Bradley drop the ball. Excellent attempt. Brilliant start of play. Good solid scrum. Great foundation for the backs. Probably been the element of tonight. Just a few, few errors. A little bit of force in the ball, but uh, the intent from the boys there was outstanding. I'm, I'm loving. I know that I'm loving this game. I've got to say, I'd take another 25 minutes of this. It's, it's brilliant, isn't it? I, mean, I think if you were a Quinn, you would love for another 25 minutes just to maybe see if we can turn the tide, keep them pinned inside the, the 22, and see what can happen. But the energy levels have been boundless as well. You know, the, the pace of the game hasn't wilted at any stage, Absolutely. has it? There's a, a fair few boys who have not had a huge amount of game time just chomping at this opportunity, so you've seen it out there tonight. And then stop putting it in. Presented the ball, not put it in. Here, March here. I must procrastinate too much. Lewis Jeltimer was desperate to take that quickly, but again, Ethan Coffin throw. You put the ball down, offering to push, and you pick it up again. Let's go. ring smarts there. Denying Quinn's the opportunity to go quickly. So they'll scrum. And it's a scrum on top as well. George Hammond's in there. He latches on to Big Ernie. If it worked once, it might work twice. We can see Brim Bradley here going over for a second. They look like a tight, compact defence because they know that one thing's coming and it's a big, big ball carrier. Well, Prim Bradley's there, but just beyond him is a, another large piece of furniture in the shape of Lennox Anyanwu. Bradley takes it, doesn't give it to Anyanwu instead, goes to Green, who manages to get the ball to Roma Zheng. Zheng spinning, oh, reaching, wow. a wondrous finish from the young speedster. He's been starved of opportunities all night, but one sniff, one try for Roma Zheng. And that's what all good wingers are about. You just need one one chance to the line. He took it brilliantly. I think it's a bit of hesitation from all of us as whether he put the ball down. As soon as he picked it up, a bouncing ball. As soon as he picked it up, you knew there was one way he was going, and that's straight towards the try line. Great strength. And then a winger's inhibition to finish there in the corner. Outstanding. Drafted in late for Nick David. Put him up with just a, a little injury before the game. And he's performed brilliantly. And Slevin with the conversion. Corner Slevin brings the class from the tee. Five turns to seven. And all oh, of a sudden... Minutes. Quinns are to within eight. You got it up as well. They couldn't, could they? Anything's possible at the stoop. Anything's possible. Time off. Well, it's funny. 
how life works. Roma Zhang, as Luke Stand said, drafted in last minute, elevated from the bench, and the man who delivered the try scoring pass to Roan Green brought onto the bench in his place. So the two combine. And just that, they're lucky. It's turn of the tide. Option. There's a spring in Quinn step Trump. now. Come here, come here. Here you go. And what more could you want than a midfield scrum this time of the game? Twelve tries under the lights on a Friday night. Oh, an excellent game, isn't, isn't it? Ain't a bad way to warm yourself up ahead of a Six Nations weekend. Plenty of Quinns representation out there. And no less than six Munstermen set to feature against Wales tomorrow. But there's plenty of action to savour here at the stoop still. Slevin into the heart of the 22. Herbs. Oh, that's unlucky. Loses possession. As he looks to hit light speed through that hole. And maybe the moment gone. Maybe the opportunity gone. Speed up. Oh, oh, oh. No, you're good. Here we are. Here we are. Here we go. Same again! Same again! Crouch! Fine! Set! Spot your time. The Quinn okay, scrum in the ascendancy. That is a brilliant carry, isn't it? No time left for Quinn's to mount a miracle. Hands away. It has been a full blooded affair. A romper stomper of a friendly between two great and famous clubs but ultimately it is the men from across the Irish Sea who prevail and they prevail in some style on Jerry Flannery's final night as a Quinns coach it would have been poetic had his Quinns been able to muster victory over Munster the club that he enjoyed so much glory with across a golden generation for the province but it wasn't to be because of the dazzling try scoring of a young and raw monster that Quinns very much had their moments but he will end the evening the more pleased of the coach A try for Roma Zheng at the death. An indefatigable performance from James Chisholm. But ultimately, it is Munster who prevail. Final score here at the Stoop. Harlequins 35, Munster 43. Luke, sum that one up. Yeah, incredible game, wasn't it? I mean, as you said, 12 tries on a Friday night in, the, uh, in a so-called friendly was, was unbelievable. I think it'd be amiss to not mention Jerry Fannery on his final game at the stoop against his old side. What a great, what a great man. Huge character to have around the club, going on to a really exciting new path. So I'm fortunate to be able to wish Jerry really well and say thanks to him for all of his hard work. I think he'll be disappointed with the, uh, with the loss, but to be able to have his old teammates come over and uh, have one final game in the stoop is quite fitting.
Okay, Luke, thank you so much for your company on the mic this evening. We hope to see you back on the field soon. And it, it will be soon. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. And thanks for having me. I really enjoyed it. Absolute pleasure. I'm going to dive down pit site to go and grab a couple of interviews with some key protagonists. Stay tuned. We'll be back with some pit side interviews. <laughs>